Yeah, well, starting off uh, to the game uh, of Kansas City away. Uh, you know, even though the they're not where they want to be in the standing, it's a, it's a good team and it's a different uh, it's a place that they're good at. It's difficult to play there and get a result, even though they didn't get uh, the amount of points that they want. But it's a good squad in KC, so it's always positive to put uh, points on the road and then lead it up to Seattle. Um, it's been a good four-day preparation for good trainings, and so uh, we're looking forward to it. Max, what have you seen from the group and how you guys have evolved and just grown it as a group throughout the season? Yeah, I mean it's uh, it's exciting and it's positive because there's still uh, a lot of improvement within our in our group, but uh, we're we're able to manage the every little aspect of the game. You know, when we're a little bit deeper, uh, counterattack, defensive or defensive organization, and so in every phase of uh, the game, we are getting better and getting uh, getting more decisive. Uh, you know, we're making plays when it's time to, and so it's a. It's nice to feel that as a group, as a collective, that uh, there's still room for improvement every single time we step on the field. But uh, the most important thing is that we're getting the points in the last few uh, two, two away games. And so now it's uh, coming back home. Uh, it will be good uh, against a good team. Uh, we know Seattle, you know, it's, uh, it's a team that started slow, but then they're, they're ramping up. And so it's going to be, uh, it's gonna be a, a game to look forward to, yeah. How's the dynamic been in the sense that now we see a lot of leaders on the team and a lot of players with a bunch of experience and in that sense of holding each other accountable to mm -hmm. try and be better each time like you mentioned. Yeah, correct. Uh, I mean, the, the locker room is uh, is tight. You know, we, we have a group that is uh, that is playing for each other. That is, a, there's a, a we before me culture that is slowly getting together in uh, into that locker room, and it's a powerful uh, feeling. It's a powerful movement that you got to put uh, the, the group before, and so uh, we've seen it in, in faces and and players coming into the games. Everybody can play. You know, it's not a secret that. Uh, we have a, a squad with, with potential and a squad with a lot of depth, and so uh, everybody's playing for the for the crest for the organization, and uh, it's a part of uh, of the success that we've been having. Uh, that we before me attitude. How hard is that to build in a locker room? And, and is this experience rare for you, or is that something that you know you typically expect as, a, as the season plays out? Uh, not every group has it. Not a, not every group has it, and it's rare. Um, you're trying to build it, but it's it's something that forms naturally. I, I would guess. I've been part of two the of teams that has it, other teams that is uh, going there and such. So here uh, I feel that we, we do have this and so it's just positive for, for the whole organization, the whole city. Um, the period coming off the international break, I mean you played Seattle coming out of that international break, so from the Seattle to the Seattle match, you talk about growth across the season, but during this particular period, 5-1-1, you know, basically all the points except for one match in Vancouver and in a tie. What has this period in particular meant for the growth and the change of the team, bringing in the players that you have? Yeah, correct. It's uh, you know I wasn't aware of the five-one-one, but it's uh, just looking at one game at a time and not a chunk of games. But yeah, I mean, is we uh, we're working towards uh, to, towards the end of the season now, where uh, there's uh, there's a few home games left and then a few trips away. But you know, at the end of the day, um, fourteen more games, if I'm not mistaken. And it's really one game at a time. That chunk is is really important with the new addition of of really s sticking what we've been working on since day one of preseason. And really, it takes time uh, when you see a group together uh, um, doing the X and O's of the staff who wants to, to play with our philosophy and our identity. Uh, but you know that's that chunk of, of six games there is a good example of what we want to be at the end of season, being solid on every phases of the game. And uh, obviously the, the new faces and uh, the guys that were there since uh, the preseason and years uh, did the job and we will keep working to, to get better, yeah. Max, um, we're approaching the final phase of the season. What do you think is going to be the key for the, in order for the team to be to keep being consistent and also gaining momentum? Yeah, I mean, uh, one game at a time, there's no secret in this league. Uh, I've said it multiple times, you got to compete. You have to show up every single game, home or away. Uh, there, there's no points that will just be given to you. And so 
uh, the work ethic that we're, we've been putting and the seriousness of approach uh, that we've been having so far works and we need to keep going and uh, the accountability uh, like we've just discussed within the group, within our teammates, um, trying to be the best team organization and players on a personal level, uh, trying to be the best and and really um, break new ceilings. Uh, I think that's that's going to be the key, for, uh, you know, uh, just the work rate, the accountability and uh, the togetherness. Any last questions in person? Okay, we'll go ahead and take it from Zoom. Seth, take it away. Uh, great line, Max. Uh, let's go with uh, Alicia Rodriguez. Go ahead, Alicia. Thank you very much. Hi, Max. Thanks for your time today. I uh, wanted to ask about the upcoming opponent. Um, obviously, the Sounders have been a you know a powerhouse in the league. There's been a lot of uh, you know big games against LAFC over the years. Um, how are you approaching this game? Uh, you know, figuring that there's a good chance that these teams may meet in, in the playoffs later on this year. Yes, um, even before before arriving into club, I was uh, I was watching a few games, and the, the, these games are always intense, uh, always few occasions to both teams, and so uh, it will be a, it will be a nice setup. I mean, it's Bank of California, 8 p.m. kickoff Friday night. It's a, it's a perfect layoff for it. So, um, two good teams. Two good teams going at each other. Uh, we, like we've said, we've worked well during the week, um, but uh, they're gonna come here to to spoil the party. And so us, we want to uh, to make sure that we we get the our little details right, uh, the right things under control, and uh, play our football so we uh, we have a good night on Friday. Great, thank you. Thank you. Last question. Thank you. So Hello, Maxine. Good afternoon. Thank you for your time. As always, with Giorgio's arrival, have you seen any improvement on defense? If so, what are those areas where the team has improved defensively? Yeah, I mean, Giorgio is a player that needs no introduction, and his experience has been. It's been great for me personally and others around him. Uh, but uh, the biggest thing that I can see out of his game is really the the way of communicating and the way that he guides himself on the on the field. He's always on the razor's edge, on always trying to play forward to break that line and defensively always keeping everybody in in a good spot. And so that's his uh, his professionalism and experience here is something that. Uh, that you can't buy. You you need to uh, to experience these games over the last few years that he's been having, and uh, that's uh, that's what makes him uh, so good.